I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Something unique to the 425, by pulling out on this and lifting up, something unique to the 425. kind of fooled you guys when I talked about going down to the restore and only coming home with one thing well it wasn't the little handyman drill you never know when you're gonna get called home and you'll miss the chance to do the things that you should have done so I thought well if I have the toolbox ready when he gets old enough to use it whether I'm here to hand it to him or not he'll have it available the thing that I got that day was a thing called a Workmate 425. The Workmate 425 is a cool piece of equipment. It has the unique ability to have three panels on the top. It's 30 inches across, which is much bigger than my other ones. It's sitting on a 225 right now. The 225 is only 25 inches wide. It also does this thing where both handles are held together, or coordinated together by a belt so that they operate in unison. You can adjust them separately because the belt will slip, but it's a little cog belt and it holds up pretty good. The rear table can be removed and it latches in place with these pucks so that you can have it be up here. And the other table back here so that the movable jaw can go up and grip things against the wider surface. You can remove this one. Set it back here. Drop this one in place, close that up, and have a strong working surface. These boards are made out of laminated bamboo. Very sturdy, very hard, it's very hard to mark it. Something unique to the 425. By pulling out on this handle and raising it up, I can set this so that it clamps down on this board.
grips it very tightly. Then by simply running the handles in reverse, lift that up, drop it down, push it back in, Tighten the jaws, and back to having a work table. So now I'm going to strip off the top.
Nice bench. A lot better than what it was when it came home. Cleaned up, waxed, polished. Looks pretty nice. It also works well. I'm going to put a little uh, 336 oil on the sliding mechanism because that dries out and doesn't leave any uh, sticky film on it. And that'll let the workbench collapse and slide around easier. I'm really interested in having this bamboo top. First time I ever worked with bamboo. Had this Stanley transitional plane. Now I believe it's a 24 but the numbers uh, are long since gone and I never bothered looking them up. But this was a real piece of crap. This, this plane was in such bad shape that the iron was falling off of the wood the knob was torn up, the tote was torn up, the screws were rusty, the brass screws was, were tarnished something fierce, the blade was rusty and dull as a butter knife, and it was missing the adjusting screw. Well, it had all the things that you could have wrong with a transitional plane on it. And I thought this would be a great one to work on because I only have to do one fix and I've handled 90% of the problems that anybody's going to run into with a transitional plane. So I stripped it down completely, painted the iron parts, uh, straightened and sharpened the blade, fixed the tote, fixed the knob, drilled and plugged all the holes for the screws, re-drilled the mounting screw holes into the plugs, and then the last thing I needed to do was this was badly worn. It was actually rounded. The front edge was knocked off. The back edge was knocked off. It was just in a horrible shape and extremely uh, weather beaten. The, the wood had dried and checked over the years and was split all over the place. So I filled the cracks in the front with epoxy, mixed it with uh, wood that I sanded off the body so that the type of wood was the same and then I took my big number seven and I planed the bottom smooth planed it square and smooth then my son who had been living here for a while had uh, well it's it's a, a pad that you put under a, a desk so that you can run a roller on top of carpeting uh, he bought this bamboo slatted, uh, threaded together pieces of bamboo. And it was too wide for the desk, so he cut off two pieces. That left two pieces of bamboo, quarter inch thick and about three inches wide. And it was down here in the scrap pile. So I took a piece of that, cut it to size, glued it on here, squared it all up, and thought, well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, it was a junk plane to start with. Now, this bamboo bottom on this plane is just amazing. It's hard and slick. Uh, a little bit of wax on it, it feels like it's not even there. It slides effortlessly. With a sharp blade on it, it cuts well. And a transitional plane is light. Now, some people say you really want a heavy plane so that you've got a lot of mass to do the carry through. Well, if you've got the blade sharp and the plane set up right and the angle's the way they're supposed to be, it doesn't take a whole lot to shove this little two inch blade through a piece of wood. So the extra mass, if you don't have enough push behind you, okay, once you get it going, it'll keep going. But this thing just slides. And if you want to level off I used it to level off workbenches. If you want to level off a workbench, that's, well, this one is a six foot by two foot wooden slab made out of glued together two by fours. And I had to take off about a sixteenth of an inch off the top of it, which is a lot for a plane. So I 
went over it with a scrub plane and got it squared up and then I took this over the top of it and planed it smooth just beautiful so if you have a wooden transitional plane or just a wooden plane that needs to have a new bottom on it a piece of bamboo laminated bamboo works really really good and this workbench has got a bamboo top on it so I expect to last a long long time too so that's everything about the workbench and a little bit more about the plane than you originally asked for but I like talking about it it's one of my tools that I'm proud of if you have any suggestions for a new video questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel just drop a note in the comments you know I read them all thanks for watching This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.